remember I got cut from Team BC when I was 15. And Throughout your hockey career, you're going to be dealt with uh, adversity, whether it's uh, in a playoff series or, or getting cut from a team. And I think just sticking with it uh, in terms of believing in yourself as a player and knowing that uh, you know the only thing that's going to stop you from reaching uh, what you want in life and hockey is, is yourself. So I think just follow follow what you what you dream about and what you believe in, and uh, you can do it. So joining us now is Shalane, and you're 16 years old, and uh, that must have been a big thrill, eh? The Stanley Cup. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about it. Well, I never ever seen the Stanley Cup before in my whole entire life. Are you a big Blackhawks fan, Duncan Keith? Um, I'm a New York fan, but... New York Rangers? My cousin was their captain. Oh, yeah, who's that? Dr Chris Drury. So, uh, we've obviously found some, some diehard Blackhawk fans here, right? Well, we are. We are. My husband is actually the biggest Blackhawk fan officially in probably the city of Penticton. Is he? he is, and um, they actually... He saw uh, them win the, the cup in Philly. So, well, they didn't win the cup in Philly, but they were their final game there. So, yeah, well, they won the cup there with a the big goal. Patrick yeah. Kane snuck that puck in. Eh? So, is it a big thrill for you guys to live here and have one of the best Blackhawk players play for them? Yeah. Yeah. How much of a thrill was it today for you to see that Stanley Cup? A lot. How about you? <laughs> what did you think of the cup? She's so excited, she can't talk. <laughs> Where's your husband, or is he stuck on the Stanley Cup? You no, know, unfortunately, my husband had to, he came to see Duncan, and he uh, had to go to work. So, unfortunately, we thought we'd better get pictures for him so that he'd have a good keepsake. Now you're going to be on TV as well, so oh, you can yeah. prove it. All right, so well, there you go. Hi, honey. <laughs> Wave to Dad. <laughs> Wave to Dad. Hi. <laughs> So you guys are obviously Blackhawks fans. You both got Duncan Keith jerseys on here. Oh yeah, yeah. Diehards, diehard fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've actually wore these uh, jerseys in Vancouver once. Oh, yeah. You're brave. It was very brave. We were lucky. Uh, Vancouver won that game. So tell us about how much of a thrill it is for your for the hometown boy to be on the team winning the Stanley Cup. It's pretty meaningful, I guess. You know, as a guy that I uh, went to high school with, and you kind of see him achieve something that's pretty amazing. Uh, it's pretty inspirational, I guess, to you know, see somebody who comes from the same upbringing to really take it home. Do you remember him in high school? He was a pretty scrawny little kid, wasn't he? Yeah, he was pretty lightweight. I think he was about buck 65 or so when he was playing for uh, Penticton back in those days. He's pretty small. It's amazing what happened. He obviously grew, he put on a few pounds and became one heck of a defenseman. Yeah, well, it's the skating that made it made his game. He's pretty, he's pretty awesome skater. Yeah. What are you guys going to do when you get up there and get your picture with the cup? Uh, smile, I guess. <laughs> what else, eh? <laughs> 38 years and I got to touch it finally. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I, think I, 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 think, him a I think you're a little excited. Are you a little excited, yes. <laughs> oh, 38 years I waited to touch that, and now I just did. And I'm so proud that he came and brought it to Penticton again. Oh, it's awesome.